the Mirage. It has to be a special matte box, otherwise we wouldn't have been talking about it. This is a Cinedy Gear News video. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinedy and I'm here with Nick from Tilta. Nick, how are you? I'm doing very well. Johnny, how are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you very much. And you just introduced a new matte box, the Mirage. So let's start, what is the Mirage? So the Tilta Mirage is a brand new matte box system that in many ways is an upgrade from our previous mini matte box. It is going to be a larger size, meaning it's gonna accommodate a 95 millimeter front. So for more cinema lenses while still supporting the same lenses it's supported before, it's gonna offer more standards for filters, the same four by five, six, but instead of screw on filters, we're introducing a new 95 millimeter circular standard filter. And more importantly, we have the kind of flagship of the system, a variable ND 95 millimeter circular filter that is going to have wireless control possibilities. It's also gonna cover between one and nine stops. So first of all, let's start with the size. And here you have something a bit more modular. Yes, yes, exactly. So if you are familiar with our mini map box, this is only going to be slightly larger. And in terms of modular design, there's going to be three different options in terms of breaking this down, meaning it's going to be perfect for, you know, gimbals, car mounts, uh, drones, anything where weight and size is really a factor. Uh, the, the largest way being that the front hood of the matte box can actually be fully removed, allowing you to just mount the sort of filter assembly directly to your lens. And then we also have kind of like an ultra lightweight bare bones clamp adapter for the filters themselves. Meaning if you know you just sort of need that filter directly on the lens, this matte box will have the, the modularity to do so. So do I hear it right? Now Tilta is entering the filter market. Are you making your own filters? So not directly, uh, but we are making these filters in close collaboration with a few different high-end uh, glass and filter uh, manufacturers. And what type of filters uh, people should expect? So from anything from anamorphic lens flares to some sort of confetti strobe effect filters, some things that uh, I personally haven't even seen before, you know, with other filter manufacturers in terms of getting a creative look. Nick, so just in case that my mom is calling me asking, Johnny, what is VND? What should I tell her? So it's just going to stand for variable neutral density or variable ND, just your normal ND filters uh, that can be adjusted. So if they can be adjusted, how do I adjust them in the new system? So they can be adjusted manually, similar to other screw-on VND systems, but they're also geared, meaning that you can adjust them with something like a Nucleus Nano motor or other wireless follow focus systems, as well as our new micro motor. So there is a way to attach a motor to the new Mirage matte box. Correct. There are a couple different ways. One is going to be a completely new motor designed specifically for the Mirage. All will be able to be controlled via our Nucleus system, so Nano M and then the new Mirage controller, um, but also potentially compatible with some third-party motors given a small enough scale. And how do you power those motors? So the motor for the Mirage, the, the one that's gonna be included with the most advanced kit, is going to power by either USB-C or by a 14500 battery, which we are going to be including uh, with that kit. It's really clever in a way, because obviously you can control the density of the ND remotely, but where do you see people using that kind of system? Yeah, so the big one would be any situation where you're not able to physically control the ND yourself, meaning uh, if you have your camera mounted to a vehicle, if it's on a drone, even if you know, you're know you on a gimbal or steady cam and it just is a little less convenient to change that ND, uh, this solution will give you know quick adjustments. And as you said, obviously everything is working with other components from the Tilta family. Correct, correct. So not, not just by including that adapter for the Nucleus Nano motor, but you can assign the new Mirage motor to a control wheel on your Fizz. So if you're already pulling focus with your Nucleus M and you're not using a zoom motor, you can use that zoom control to control your ND. You mentioned before that this is actually a, a clamp. It's a clip on the lens itself. What is the diameter of the, of the back of the matte box? So the matte box native outer diameter is gonna support 95 millimeters. So from anything like um, an RE Ultra Prime or uh, a Sigma Cine lens, 95 millimeters is gonna clamp directly on. For everything else, the same screw on filters that you should be, or that you would be familiar with with our mini matte box. 
And if I'm just a simple person with black t-shirt and photo lenses, what should I do then? So as I mentioned, photo lenses are going to work the same way as the mini map box. You're going to have a couple of screw on filter adapters included. We're going to support sizes from 82 being the highest and 52 being the lowest. So you would screw it on the same way you would a circular filter and then clamp on our map box to that filter adapter. Very nice. So actually, whom are you targeting here? So we're definitely targeting a middle ground. We're definitely trying to make a lightweight solution that is going to be just as viable for someone using their photography lenses, uh, but then also is, you know, usable when possibly renting some higher end lenses or when on bigger jobs. We're trying to, you know, at the same time, make a lightweight solution for people already shooting on those larger lenses, um, but then, you know, keeping the flexibility so that you're not jumping between systems depending on the scale of what you're shooting. Good. And of course, I have to ask you about the pricing and availability. And I think the pricing is surprisingly very much affordable. Yeah, so I would say the, the pricing is very in line with, with our previous model of mini map box. The map box body starting at $119. I think this is something that, uh, you know, is going to be relatively easy and affordable to, to get into, to try to see. And what, what do you get for this price, for this low price? So the 119 is just going to be the matte box, a filter tray, and then the adapters to get this onto your lens, meaning you would still need to purchase filters, VND, motor, all separately. Um, however, it would be the kind of building base to make your kind of perfect suited matte box if you had specific needs outside of the pre-established kits. And one step higher? The next step is going to be our, our first sort of basic kit, which is going to include the VND module. That's going to be $369. So uh, similar to the original, it's going to come with everything. You need to actually attach this to your lens, uh, but it also is going to include that full VND module, giving you, you know, the, the nine stops of variable ND. And um, it's, it's probably going to be one of the more popular options for people just looking for an affordable VND solution. And on the higher end, what is the, the most expensive kit here? So the most expensive kit is going to be your VND kit with full wireless control. That's going to be $599. That's going to include the new Mirage motor as well as a brand new hand unit for the Mirage, which again is compatible with all our Nucleus M and Nucleus Nano system. As a filmmaker, my only issue is compatibility. And when I say compatibility, there are many of us who are already invested in a matte box and certain filter sizes. Aren't you a bit concerned to introduce a new standard to the industry? It's a very traditional industry after all. Yes, yes. So as, as I mentioned, with this sort of targeting of a kind of in-between um, of traditional, you know, larger cinema camera users and the kind of smaller uh, form factor camera users, uh, we're still trying to, you know, support both groups. Uh, we, we are not trying to exclude anyone who already does have 4x5, 6 filters. Uh, but besides supporting 4x5, 6 filters already, we are introducing some new stackable trays, which are going to allow you to use multiple 4x5, 6 filters, unlike the mini map box. So if you do need, you know, a traditional three tray system, this map box is still going to support that. But for those users who are trying to kind of take the next step up, from kind of a smaller form factor uh, map box system, you know, we're, we're offering them a kind of lighter weight, uh, less expensive way to get that same type of filtration. How about availability? When is the new Mirage mud box will be in the market? So these are going to be available for order today. We do have a limited uh, inventory of them that are going to be able to ship out immediately. After that, uh, they are going to be available for back order, uh, but that generally will only be a couple weeks before uh, those ship directly from our manufacturer. Okay, Nick, thank you very much. It was really a pleasure to talk to you, and I'm really looking forward to see the Mirage in the field used by as many as possible people who want to explore and try a new piece of equipment from Tilta. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Nick. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.